Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement. In this video, we will learn that how to create hyperlinks of files as a list which are presented in a specific folder in Microsoft Excel. Or you can say that how to list all the file names in a folder and create hyperlinks for them inside Microsoft Excel. So there are two methods. I will perform both of them. The first is without the VBA and the second one is with the VBA. I will be also providing you with the code in the video file description so that you can copy and apply accordingly. So let's get started with the first procedure which is without VBA. So I have a folder here uh, which is in my F drive okay and the folder name is Raheem Zulfikar Ali 2022 and there are different types of files available. So there are some Excel files, uh, Power BI file, PowerPoint presentation, a video and a picture as well. So different kind of uh, files are there and what we want is that exactly all these names to be uh, available in Excel uh, and work like a hyperlink so that in Microsoft Excel when I click on any of the name that file opens automatically from there. Okay, so that's the logic which we will be creating here. Alright, so the first step without VBA is to open a command prompt application for doing that I will just click on start button and I will write CMD for the command prompt so a command prompt window will get open and from here first I need to uh, get inside to my uh, F drive in your case it could be different okay so to get into the F drive I will write F colon okay and then i need to enter in the specific folder which is available in my f drive which is raheem zulfikar ali 2022 so i will write cd space then the name of the folder okay and i will press the enter key now i am in exactly on the same location f drive and that specific folder and here i will write a command which is dir slash b slash s slash o and i will press enter so as soon as i press the enter key you can see that um, all the names of the files available in that specific folder are here with the complete link and now i will take all these names and i will copy uh, within this command prompt window so for doing that i will add one more command here so that command is again dir slash b slash s slash o then space a pipe symbol and clip clip and just press the enter key this is the command uh, which is what it, it's doing is basically it's copying all the list of the file names with proper hyperlinks and uh, now after applying this command i will open a excel file and i will just press the shortcut key of paste which is Control v so now you can see that uh, all the files available in that specific folder uh, as a list is now here in the excel with a proper file path okay and this is in column a now next thing is that to convert these text data into a hyperlink okay so for doing that i can use hyperlink function available in excel so equals to hyperlink bracket open and just give the cell reference of the first link available which is a1 and it will generate a hyperlink okay and i will just copy and paste downwards this function so now what happens is that uh, whenever i want to open a specific file i can i will just click on that particular file for example the first one and it will open a prompt window which is microsoft excel security notice you just need to click yes because we want to continue and that's it that file is being opened here right simple uh, but one point is that uh, with a presentation point of view what we need to do is we don't need the entire file path we just need the file names okay so for doing that what we can do is we can uh, basically take take the uh, name of the files okay so uh, there is a simple technique uh, I can tell you that in this video is using text to columns or you can also use power query here as well if you want to so I will just copy all these links here again and paste it here and I will split that uh, 
links based on that a common delimiter which is the slash backslash sign okay so i have selected this column and i will go to the data tab here you will find text to columns feature so just click on that select the delimited first click next and specify a delimiter in the other category so just check mark the other and backslash next finish okay and then delete the f drive and the similar name columns so i will delete these two columns now we have just file names here and we want to apply the hyperlinks on these file names so it's very easy again equals to hyperlink function so link location is again a1 and the friendly name is now available in this particular column which is c column and i will just close the bracket and copy and paste this i can also hide these working columns as well if you don't want to have these working columns so you can just hide that them as well or you can hide column a as well so now we have uh, all the file names available in in our column d and uh, these are the hyperlinks so whenever i click on any of the file name it will prompt a window just you need to press the yes button and it will open here right so this was the method without vba uh, what we have done so far is basically uh, we have created the hyperlinks of all the files from as a list from a specific folder now you want to do this kind of same work but with the vba okay so that's also easy i will just open a new excel file and i will let me show you the code so this is the code i will just select the entire code control c for copy i will go to the that excel book and in the developer tab or you can press the alt f11 key from your keyboard so i will click on visual basic and the first step is to insert a module so i will just click on insert module and i will paste that entire code which i have copied okay and uh, let me just click on the play button or you can press f5 as well so now it says that specify uh, that particular folder so let me specify uh, that path of that folder and after ap applying that now you can see that uh, the the code is exactly providing you the same result which we have done with the m uh, command prompt window and then we have used the hyperlink function but in the code it you just need to define uh, code in the uh, module and then you need to run that code specify the uh, path of that folder and it will automatically fetch all the names of the files with the hyperlinks to be created available so it's very easy but remember that when you use vba in your excel file you need to save it as a dot xlsm instead of dot xlsx okay so to conclude that topic what we have done so far is we have seen two different methods uh, without vba and vba to basically create hyperlinks of all the file names available in a specific folder in microsoft excel Thank you.